In this video, we're going to talk about how we can gather all the possible solutions for a query in a list. So we'll be using find all, which takes three parameters. The first parameter is a variable, or it could also be a list of variables, and we'll see an example of that variation later. The second is the query you're trying to satisfy with the variables. And then finally, a list of values that, when assigned to the variable, satisfy the query. And that's going to give you the list of the values that satisfy the query. So here we have a prologue program that has some facts, specifically some mammal and like facts. We have the change rule that we saw before, and then we also have another rule called only ones I like, which given a list returns the things from that list that succeed for like. So suppose I want to find every possible solution. Well, prologue provides a way to do that with the find all rule. And that takes a variable and then a query on that variable. Now notice, if we do a query with a variable, that'll give a solution for that variable. The third parameter is going to be a list of values that succeed with that query. So how would we use this? Well, let's suppose we want to get a list of all the mammals. And we'll put it in a list called mammals. Well, we'll do a find all. And we'll use the singular mammal as our variable. And then our query is going to be, is mammal a mammal? And if so, we'll add it to our list. So let's query this. And it looks like on line 27, we have a, a mistake. And we're missing a parentheses here and then one here. So now let's consult again. Okay, so we're still getting that syntax error. So did we forget to save it? Now we're still showing that there's an error here. So we have find, ah, that should be find all. And we only need the one parenthesis there, actually. So I think that should be good. Let's consult and we're good. Okay, so now let's query all the mammals. And so you see bear, dolphin, deer, dog, squirrel, cat, which are the ones that we've done here. So let's step back and review what happened with that find all we did. So we call find all, we need a variable, we need a query and a list that'll hold the results. So the variable is gonna be, we're looking for mammals. So we're gonna query these mammal facts and the values that satisfy those facts will store in the mammal variable. And then each of those values that satisfy the query will be put into our mammal list, which is the resulting list that we get. So again, we're going through finding values for this variable mammal that satisfy the mammal fact. So prologue will start at the top. We see mammal bear. We're going to put that in the list. So now we have a list with bear in it. Same thing with dolphin. We see dolphin that satisfies the mammal fact. So we put dolphin in our list. We see deer, we put deer in our list. Dog satisfies mammal, so we add dog to the list. Then we see squirrel, we'll add squirrel to the list. Then we reach cat, we add cat to the list. And now there's no more facts that we can use to find values to satisfy mammal. And so this is our final list. Our result is gonna be bear, dolphin, deer, dog, squirrel, cat. And that would be the list that would be returned. So what if we just want animals that we like? In fact, more specifically, mammals that I like. So we'll find some list. And first, we'll find all the mammals. That's the rule we just defined. And then we'll take the mammal list and we'll find just the ones that we like. And that'll be our result. So let's consult this. And we see that bears and dogs are both animals, are both mammals that I like. Okay, so now let's take a look at some things we can do with the change rule. So say I want to find all change. I'm going to find all. And then I'm not just going to pass one variable. I actually want a list of variables here. So half dollars, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. And I'm looking for values that will satisfy the change rule. And I'll put that in my result. So let's consult this. So if I find all change, I get all sorts of errors. And it's because I put a underscore here. And so you can see, I get a lot of results, which is what I would expect, since there's a lot of ways to make change. Continuing our examples of using find all and, and finding all the solutions. Here we have a list of 
some baseball teams in the AL West and the NL West. So suppose we want to get all the teams that are in the NL West. Well, we can say NL West teams, and we'll do a find all, and we're looking for the different individual teams that satisfy the rule. We're not just going to say variables here. We're going to be explicit and say NL West team. So we only want the teams from the NL West, and then we'll put those into teams. So let's consult this. And you can see we have the NL West teams. Now suppose we wanted to do something similar, but with the teams in a division. What we could do is pass division in as a parameter and then tell it to look for particular facts that satisfy this query using the specific division that was passed in. So if we save this and consult, we're forgetting a parameter here. So here's our teams in the NL West, and then we could also look for the American League West. Well, what if we're looking for all the teams completely? It's going to be fairly similar to what we've seen before. We're going to find all, and we'll use team as our variable. And we don't care what division they're in, and that should give us that list. So again, find all of this variable that satisfies this query, and then put it into this list. And so there you see the teams. We have too many to list all of them, so it does give us this continuation at the end. Okay, so we have the teams. How about this? Instead of the team, let's find the divisions. We're looking for the division. We don't care what the team is. And again, keep in mind in Prolog, I'm using these names to help me remember what they are, but the Prolog, I just have variables. So it sees variable one, variable two, and that's it. So just keep that in mind. Don't get too hung up on what you call these. Again, just name them something that helps you. So let's save this. Consult. And so you'll notice we get a long list, but there's a lot of duplicates. Well, the reason for this is, is that NLS satisfies it, NLS does, NLS satisfies this, and so on. So what I want is a set of unique ones. So I can change this to a set of. Set of is like find all, but it only returns the unique values. So now when I do a consult and then my MLB divisions, now notice what it's doing. It's giving me all the possible solutions. Well, that's not exactly what we're looking for, right? We want these all to be in a list. So what I need to do is quantify team here, and then I'll pass that in as a parameter. And so that says there are going to be some teams that's fine, but really I'm focused on the divisions here. And so this says there are some teams that exist that meet this. Again, I'm focused on the divisions here. But now once I've done this, notice I get the divisions I expect. Okay, so hopefully this gives you an idea of how to work with find all to find all solutions to a query. And again, just like we did with mammals I like, you can take that list and then further reduce it down based on other criteria. This allows you to find all the possibilities in a rule and then start working with them.